Welcome to our channel, where we discuss businesses which use technology. Today, we'll be discussing Nike. Nike keeps performing impressively. What other company can boast accelerating the footwear sales annually from 2% to 13%? How do they do it? Nike is all about innovation. This means improving their digital sales channels, creating a fascinating app that measures your foot size using AI, and developing NFT sneakers. NFT sneakers? Really? Make sure to watch till the end to find out about it. In October 2020, during the middle of the pandemic, the retail brand had to close more than 900 stores worldwide. And still, Nike's share price hit an all-time high. All thanks to the digital transformation plan called the Triple Double Strategy. In 2017, they planned to double their innovation, speed to market, and direct connection points to customers with the deadline of the next five years. In fact, they outperformed their targets. With a plan to achieve a 33% lift in direct-to-consumer sales by 2022, they hit that target by 2019 and kept growing. The focus here was to understand what makes your brand salient with your audience and understand that digital transformation today is a must-have, not a nice-to-have. Nike's digital strategy is more than just having a website and offering an app where you can shop for Nike shoes. For most of us, digital shopping is already a lifestyle, and Nike knows it precisely. Nike invests in its Nike Plus membership program to create more personalized connections with customers. They use data analytics to drive advanced algorithms and reward active members. Love collecting sneakers on your shelf? Nike already knows about this. Management aims at unbreakable customer relationships, and we can feel it with the SNKRS app. There, fans can read about upcoming releases, track their favorite styles, and keep payment information to make checkout easier. That might not sound innovative initially, but the SNKRS app has operated since 2015 and is a valuable marketing tool for the brand. The app alerts customers when a shoe is about to launch, and since shoes routinely sell out, they encourage a must-have-now mindset among users. Yep, that's why you're buying a pair every month, although you aren't even going out that much. Thanks to the SNKRS app, Nike's traffic and revenue have increased by triple digits. But it's more than that. Nike uses demand-sensing technology to keep products in supply. The company continues to fine-tune its operations, applying digital tagging and tracking products using Radio Frequency Identification RFID. This feature allows Nike to track products through the production process until the product is sold to the customer. RFID helps Nike better match supply to demand. This, in turn, allows Nike to avoid having to mark down unsold merchandise, achieve sell-through of more items at full price, and contribute to higher margins. Sounds great, right? But how do they do this? Well, don't you worry. I'm about to explain this right now. Nike directs to consumer strategy. For the next few quarters, Nike expects consumer demand to outweigh supply. This means Nike needs to be much more strategic about stocking running shoes and workout tops. As long as inventory is constrained, the pivot to direct is accelerated. Nike prioritizes their own channels with a product first. Before the pandemic struck, Nike was already on a path to grow its direct-to-consumer business, cutting partnerships with some wholesale retailers and building its online business, opening Nike stores worldwide. Over the past three years, Nike has pulled out of about 50% of its wholesale accounts. This is called a consumer direct offense. In fiscal 2021, Nike's direct revenue represented about 39% of sales for the Nike brand, up from 35% in the prior year. Selling more goods at full price adds profits. Nike's gross margins for fiscal 2021 grew to 44.8% from 43.4% in 2020. Industry-wide supply chain havoc accelerated Nike's DTC push at an even faster clip and, in turn, drive profitability higher. Nike got themselves a free excuse to accelerate its DCT transition and say, we don't have the supplies to get to our wholesalers. This is a major opportunity because we see all other brands cut wholesale, but they don't have the top line like Nike. Nike still has the demand. People keep demanding big brands. Basically, Nike is telling the consumer, you can't have it right now. They are creating FOMO, fear of missing out, by not having supply. Nike takes advantage of that. The business model sounds impressive, but how does this feature help a regular client? 
You see, thanks to improved logistics, Nike can issue the product ahead of demand. A great example of this occurred when LeBron James moved from Cleveland to play for the Los Angeles Lakers. Nike could cut jersey lead times in half and respond to the surge in demand for his new team jersey. You just heard about the transfer, but you already can buy a new jersey. Isn't that impressive? Nike uses digital innovation and increasingly differentiates itself with its investments in technology, creating innovations themselves. For instance, Nike has launched an app called Nike Fit that provides hyper-accurate sizing recommendations for each shoe by scanning your feet with a smartphone camera. The problem of ordering and wearing the wrong fit shoe is solved, which is good news for both brand and customers. The tool is part of the existing Nike app and uses augmented reality technology to scan your feet with a smartphone camera, mapping each foot's dimensions using a 13-point measuring system. The sizing predictions are programmed using AI, so the more people use it, the more accurate it will become. Nike and AI – we know what you're thinking about. We'll soon see Nike hitting the metaverse trend. Well, they already did. In December 2021, Nike bought a virtual shoe company that makes NFTs and sneakers for the metaverse. Yep, you can now flex your sneakers NFT collection. Finally! Nike acquired RTFKT Studios, which it calls a leading brand that leverages cutting-edge innovation to deliver next-generation collectibles that merge culture and gaming. As you can see, Nike creates and adopts a wide range of technological innovations. That's the primary thing that continually sets them apart and ensures they are always innovative. The company culture and approach are all about innovation. Nike co-founder Bill Bowerman inspired the first running shoe from his home Waffle Iron. The iconic item is still located at the Nike headquarters. That's why Nike is so successful. The ability to think outside the box and use creativity ultimately propels Nike forward and helps them retain their innovative edge. But what do you think? Who can compete with Nike in the field of innovation? Make sure to share your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we send your way.